Can you send it straight to Canvas, or do you have to send it to Notability and then to Canvas? Uh, no, I can send it straight to Canvas. That's what I was thinking, right? Just um, also keep in mind that you might want a copy of it, so maybe send it to Notability and then send it to Canvas. I don't care how you do that, but everything but this circle you will see again on next week's test. And again, you need to get this submitted now. This is going to count as a classwork assignment for today. Wait, 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 I just want to be clear, especially for the folks from home, that you are submitting this now as a PDF. It should be a completed five questions. Wait, I don't see it. It's not the P5. It should say 525. You know what I can do? Hang on. Let me do something. And you could be, again, another guinea pig. Cancel out of it and then do it again. I mean, it goes by date. I know. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask a question on the last one? Absolutely. This one is actually from P3, um, which we, no, P4. No, right? Yeah, no, P3, because it's kept three, three. P3, but we also talked about it at the beginning of the year. This is just some like application of your knowledge of your coordinate points. So, in order for a division, which would be the quotient, to be negative. One has to be positive, one has to be negative, which happens in the quadrant two and quadrant four. So those are the correct answers on this one. If you want to make a correction on yours, feel free to do that. Okay, so if you didn't get it right, that's fine. Just go ahead and make that correction. For the symmetry, and I highlighted at the top just because there was a lot of you that didn't do it in the beginning, you need to make sure, and I say it all the time, that the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts are in coordinate point form. You can't give me an x equals and a y equals. They need to be in coordinate point form. So the x-intercept should have been zero, comma, zero inside the parentheses, and the y-intercept should have been negative three, comma, zero. And, I'm sorry, and the x-intercept. And then the y-intercept, the, it would be the same as that zero, zero. Then for your symmetry, for the x-axis, we plug in a negative y. For the y-axis, we plug in a negative x. And for the origin, we do both. All three tests failed, okay? Be careful and don't assume that because the first two fail, the last will fail. It is possible for something to only have origin symmetry. So that would have been a no. This will be a like a checkbox kind of question on your test. You'll check all that apply. So if it's all of them and you only check the x axis, you'll get partial credit, but you won't get the full credit. So just keep that in mind. Then came the standard form of the circle. So we didn't do this in the last week's part, but we've done circles in the conic section and we did it all the way at the beginning of the school year. I think we've done circles three times by now. The end points of the diameter are given. You need the center, so I find the midpoint, which is one five, and then uh, you can choose what you wanna do, but I'll tell you right now, I know, like I'm old, I've done this a lot of years. Silly mistakes come from doing the distance formula, and there was three of them just on this class kick alone, so be careful. I think it is easier to take that point, plug it in as your HK, and then either one of the points that I gave you at the beginning, make that your XY, and then solve for R squared, which was 13. So your ending answer is the standard form of your equation, which is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 13. What is the code again? I got page 5. Uh, okay, then came the line. So finding the equation of a line, if I gave you points, the slope from this was 4 sevenths. Be careful because there's a couple mistakes there, and if you make a mistake there, then obviously it continues to be wrong. The, the slope there is 4 sevenths. Plug that and the point, and I plug in the first one, but it doesn't matter which one you plug in. I plugged it in a point slope. Some of you plugged it into y equals mx plus b. Solve for b. That's fine as long as you do it correctly. You should get y equals 4 sevenths x plus 36 sevenths. That kind of question you will keep in improper form. As long as it's reduced, you'll keep it improper when you type that kind of question in as an answer. Oh. Last one was your parallel and perpendicular. So the parallel, your slope from the initial one, use the shortcuts negative a over b, which is 4 fifths. Keep it for the first one, flip it for the second one. Most of you did pretty good on this, but it's the fractions that are getting you, so be really careful, okay? Y would equal 4 fifths X plus 20 third, 23 over 5, and then Y would equal negative 5 fourths X plus 1 half. So again, be very, very careful. All right, what you need to do is export 
this to a PDF. So the little arrow on the top, export this to a PDF. I don't know if it'll let you go straight to Canvas, will it? Because you're going to submit this to assignment for today. You want to see my guinea pig? He's ready to export. Mr. Chris Yeah. Can I take the screenshots of everything and put it in a little notability? Yeah, that's fine. It's just, it's going to force a PDF at the end. That's all. So just make sure it's a PDF. It won't take the pictures. Who's that? Yeah. Uh, so on portion B, yeah. in the very first purple line, so when you're plugging in the numbers, like you plugged in the negative two, yeah. you can't saw the negative before you distribute the negative five over four? Yes. Okay. Because you... Reason on the homework, uh, what's it called? Calc chat had me do it the other way around. Like keep minus a negative and then distribute it? Is that what you mean? I think so. Yeah, I think that's I think that's harder. I mean, it works, but I think it's harder. So, I would recommend doing it as soon as you can. Okay, so just immediately. Um, yeah. Get all the when you see minus a negative, negative, immediately change it. All right.